To our On Your Side investigation, the owners of Pet Memorial Gardens Cemetery are in a legal fight over property. At stake is the future of the cemetery. Janet and Robert Davis are pet lovers and told our On Your Side team they purchased the cemetery in 2007, but recently discovered that a portion of the land was sold to a developer, so they called On Your Side's Ken Amaro. Nearly 50 years ago, this cemetery was created. When you read the names on the headstones, they're pretty common, like Sandy and Becky. But these are not the names of human beings. These are the names of pets. This is a pet cemetery, and the owners are trying to save it. Sorry, I don't want to get emotional. Janet and Robert Davis own and operate Pet Memorial Gardens Cemetery in Mandarin. Yeah. How many sites do you have? Three thousand, a little over 3,000. They became owners shortly after burying their beloved Honey Bear Davis. To preserve it. Davis told us they purchased the property in two sections, the existing grave sites and where the mobile home office now sits. Where does this come into contention? In the first purchase. Davis says a section of her property was sold from under her. She lost it in 2012 while her husband was hospitalized. Was it we, not deeded to you? It was deeded to me. Davis says two years ago she was given a corrected warranty property deed, but it's not for the property she purchased. It does not settle the issue at all. Surveyors are checking the property lines and Davis has hired a lawyer to restore her land. What's to say he's not going to sell my cemetery? I have no guarantee. On your side, check the property appraisers records and according to the recorded deed, for the area identified as Track K, it was always excluded. But Davis says not so. The family has created a GoFundMe account to help in its legal fight to save this cemetery. They would like it to continue to be a final resting place for man's best friend. Canamero, First Coast News, on your side. And remember, if you have a problem, we are on your side. Just send an email to onyourside at firstcoastnews.com.